Welcome to the Fisher Toolbox Talk on sanitary fixings. My name is Simon Phipps, a key account manager here at Fisher, and today I will be talking you through several fixing products from our sanitary range. Fisher offer a wide range of products to suit nearly all possible applications and installation types found within a bathroom. Fisher have been perfecting their sanitary fixings range for many years, and you will see from the products that I show you today, they use some of the latest plugs from our nylon fixings range, such as the Duo Power and the SX Plus. Many of the sanitary fixings I will show you today are manufactured in our Italian production facility, where the range was originally developed. Today, we will be focusing on WST2, WST Click, WD 8x100, the WB5N, WB10, CBB1, and the WBP1. The WST2 and WST Click are two solutions that offer a quicker and more secure way of fastening wash basins to the wall. The WST2 using a more traditional method of fixing, and the WST Click, one of Fisher's latest innovations in the fixing range. Both offer the installer a safe, single-handed approach when installing heavy basins. The WD 8x100 for smaller wall-hung basins in solid wall or timber batten installation and using a more traditional fixing method. The WB5N, Fisher's complete fixing set for freestanding toilets and bidets or anything really that sits on the floor but requires a horizontal fixing position. The WB10 is a conventional vertical fixing kit for toilet pans and bidets. The CBB1 is a bracket system for corner basins in solid walls. Then finally, the WBP1, which is our fixing solution for conventional basins that sit on a floor mounted pedestal. For this video, we won't be showing you the full range of installs, but you can see them in action on our range of how-to videos that showcase each one of these fixings in the real life application. All of these videos are available on our YouTube channel. The install videos have been done by professional plumber and true Fisher fan, Liam the Plumber. Why not give him a follow too and see some more Fisher products in action? WST2, for fixing wash basins, urinals, cisterns, and built-in toilets to solid walls. The WST2 offers a number of improvements over traditional fixing sets ensuring a fast and easy installation. The new collar nut enables the prefixing of the wash basin, making it suitable for an easy one-person installation, even with heavy basins, and at the same time, protects the ceramic from damage. The use of the smaller Duo Power 12 mil plug allows a wide range of applications with one plug and reduces the drilling depth and saves time. The stud screw with integrated Torx head simplifies the installation and speeds up the process. To install the WST2, Drill a 12mm hole and insert the 12mm Duo Power plug. Once installed, drive in the stud screw using the Torx bit. Once the sink is placed on the stud screws, screw on the collar nut and tighten. For a final fixation, use the nut. The WST Click for heavy wash basins in solid base materials. The WST Click set includes a pre-mounted fixing sleeve that protects the ceramic from damage and enables a safe, single-handed installation. The click sound confirms correct mounting. By engaging the two sleeves, the wash basin can no longer tilt forward, enabling easy single-handed assembly. To install the WST click, pre-drill 14 mil holes and insert the SX Plus plugs. Install the studs using a spanner. Pre-install the captive sleeve onto the ceramic, ensuring that the wings are in the closed position. Once the studs are installed, place the sink onto the studs until you hear a clicking sound. This ensures the basin is correctly installed. The captive sleeve is cammed and allows for horizontal adjustment prior to final fixing. Final fixation is achieved with a washer and nut. To remove the basin, remove the nut and washer and open the clips. The WD8 by 100. The WD8 is ideal for smaller wall hung basins, but it can also be used in wooden battens. It comes with SX Plus plugs, enabling fixation in solid walls, but can also be installed in a timber batten wall. To install the WD8 by 100, mark out the position of the sink and drill the two holes using a PGM stamped drill bit. Plug the holes using the SX Plus and screw in the studs. Fit the sink onto the studs and finish the installation by fitting and tightening the plastic collar nuts, which will also protect the ceramic from damage. The WB5N, 
for fixation of freestanding toilets or bidets with horizontal fixing positions. The Fisher WB5N contains all elements required for the safe fixing of freestanding toilets and bidets in a horizontal position. The WB5N's assembly bracket with pre-drilled rows of holes allows for a flexible fixing in two directions. A pronounced edge on the washer prevents contact between the screw and ceramics, ensuring nothing gets damaged during fixing. Mark out the position of the toilet pan and fix the bracket using the SX Plus plugs for solid floors or directly into a wooden floor using the screws provided. Fit the toilet over the brackets and screw through horizontally until firm. Finish the installation with the screw covers. The WB10 for vertically fixed toilet pans and bidets. The WB10 comes with SX Plus plugs for concrete floors, but can also be directly screwed to wooden floors. It also comes with a variety of nylon bushes and cover caps to accommodate different hole shapes and sizes. When installing the WB10, mark out the position of the toilet and screw directly into the wooden floor, taking care to avoid any pipes that may be underneath. For concrete floors, drill and plug the floor prior to screwing down using the screws and washers provided. Finishing the installation using the screw covers. The CBB1 for fixing corner basins and small hand wash basins where there are no fixing holes in the ceramic. The CBB1 features slotted brackets allowing for vertical adjustment. The bracket is also designed to clamp onto the basin. It is ideal for installation in small spaces. It comes with plugs and screws for solid walls, but the screws can also be used directly into timber batten with a small pilot hole. To install the bracket, mark out the position of the brackets and drill a hole using the central vertical slot as a guide. Fit the bracket using the screws provided. Once you are happy that the brackets and sink are level, drill the remaining holes and secure. The WBP1 for installation of wall basins with floor mounted pedestals. The WBP1 comes with 8mm duo power plugs for use in plasterboard and solid walls and also allows fixation of the pedestal to the floor or to the wall. Nylon bushes are provided to protect the ceramic from damage. Please note this kit is only for non-load bearing fixation where the sink sits on a fully supported floor fixed pedestal. To install the WBP1, mark the fixing points of the sink and the pedestal. If the sink is into a concrete wall, pre-drill an 8mm hole and insert the duo power plug. If the pedestal is installed in a timber floor, you can screw straight through using the screws provided. For the final fix, screw through the sink and floor pedestal. To recap, in this video we have shown you several different sanitary fixing products that can be used by any professional or indeed DIY user. We've discussed the wide range of applications that can be completed with each one of these products and given you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use each one. Whenever you are using any of the sanitary fixing products we have shown you today, always make sure that you have all the correct safety equipment required, that you've switched off any water that may be supplying the bathroom area, and importantly, only use PGM Mark drill bits for the fixings to perform correctly in the right size drill hole. For more of the Fisher Fixing Sanitary range, please visit fisher.co.uk and look for our full sanitary fixings range under products. Thanks for watching today. I've been Simon, fixings have been Fisher, and I hope you enjoyed the Toolbox Talk.